Roxy Vinyl in the water. Paige Kawada, Sandpipers of Nevada in one. Mia Rankin of Ohio State in two. Caroline Bricker, Colorado Springs in three. Katie McCarthy of Adina Swim Club in four. Aislinn Ferris of Bluefish Swim Club in five. Hannah Shimizu Bowers of Badger Swim Club is in six. Krista Marlin of Suburban Seahawks Club in seven. And Hayden Penny of the Wise Part Aquatic Swim Club is in lane eight. The lead's in three, 29-21 for Caroline Bricker, the 17-year-old from Colorado Springs, Colorado. It was a 455-89 this morning. And she continues to lead as we hit the 100 meter mark. Aislinn Ferris takes the lead after 50 meters of backstroke, 36-2 on her first 50. 36-6 for Hannah Shimizu Bowers, who moves into second place. And Katie McCarthy splits a 37-4, moving into third place. Halfway through, Ferris continues to lead. Second place continues to be Shimizu Bowers. A little charge from Hayden Penny in lane eight, moving her up to fourth place. 37-2 on her second 50, but a stout 35-8 for Ferris. Has her with just over a one and a quarter second lead. And Shimizu Bowers now takes the lead. So we've had one leader for butterfly, one leader for backstroke, and a new leader for breaststroke. Shimizu Bowers with a 42.73. One of the fastest splits in the field, but Caroline Bricker had the fastest first breaststroke split. Actually, excuse me, Mia Rankin, who jumped two spots with a 41.7 on the front end of her breaststroke leg. But if trends hold, Shimizu Bowers should lead after the 100 breaststroke, and she's hoping that the trends don't hold end to end, and there's a new leader at the freestyle, because she is ahead of Ferris by 1.1 seconds, 1.8 now for Mia Rankin, who on the breaststroke went from seventh to third. Going to 41.7, 41.8. A 123.5 on her 100 breaststroke leg. Wrapping up now our consolation, or excuse me, our bonus final of the 400 IM. And Shimizu Bowers says the lead's mine and it's no one else's anymore. 33-3, the fastest in the field in that top three. McCarthy making a charge with a 32-9, but still would have to make up a considerable amount of ground here at the end of this bonus final. Shimizu Bowers will win the heat with an unofficial time of 450.44. Second place will be a 452.68 coming out of Katie McCarthy in lane four. And then a 453.08 from Mia Rankin in lane two for third place unofficially.
Results are now official. Looking now to event 16, men's 400 meter individual. Lane one, Bull School Sharks, Michael Mullen. Two, Fishers Area, Swimming Tigers, Kyle Ponsler. Three, Dynamo Swim Club, Owen McDonald. Four, Bluefish, Josh Perrin. Five, from Auburn University, is Jacques Rathley. Six, Twalton Hill Swim Club, Diego Nosek. Seven, the swim team, Umberto Najera. Lane eight, University of Florida, Brennan Gravely. Michael Mullen, 58-5 out of lane one for the bowl school, leads McDonald, 58-6 in lane three. Josh Parent, we saw that this morning here on the backstroke leg. Parent getting out in front of the field, splitting a 33-0 and back into 32-5 on the backstroke as Parent now leading by over two seconds on Kyle Ponsler out of lane two. Ponsler, we saw good speed from him at the wave one Olympic trials. He was the second place finisher in the 400 IM. And here you've got Ponsler and two, Parent and four, and Umberto Najera in lane seven from the swim team out in front of the field. Josh Parent, the 17-year-old, 427.08 this morning. Takes a 4.23 to get into the top 100 all time for the 17-18 age group. As Parent on his own with Nahara now a stronghold on second. We could have Diego Nosak in lane six, another wave one Olympic trial standout. Thirty six eight thirty eight five a big negative split there for Josh Parent three nineteen seven into the final one hundred he's on pace to put together something special here Nahara in second no sack in third roughly moving into fourth from Auburn in lane five. As a 16-year-old, Josh Parent was as quick as 421.73. And coming out of the final turn at 350.60, we could be looking at Parent's first time under four minutes and 20 seconds in this event. And Josh Parent start to finish and a 420.94 as Parent does turn in a best time. And also gets into the top 100 all time, 17, 18 age group. That'll get him well up into the 40s. 
second place. Umberto Najera, the swim team, 425-38, and third, Jacques Rothley with a 425-82. Our next event of the evening is event number 17, women's 100 meter butterfly. The women's 100 butterfly. Campbell Stoll, Elmbrook Swim Club in one. Tess Howley, Long Island Aquatic Club in two. Maggie Shallow of Irvine Nova Aquatics in three. 14 year old Charlotte Crush in lane four from Lakeside Swim Team. Erica Peleus of Eagle Aquatics in five. Sarah Stoller, University of Tennessee in six. Hannah Beller of Club Wolverine in seven. And Katie Crom of Mission Viejo in lane eight. Twenty-seven fifty-four for Charlotte Crush leading the way. The Lakeside Swim Team 14-year-old. Fifty-nine eighty-one for Peleus. Who's going to win the heat? 59.97 for Katie Crum, also sneaking under the one minute mark to take second place here in the bonus final of the 18 and under women's 100 butterfly. Lane one, Mid-Wisconsin Wave Makers, Will Hyatt. Two, Greater Toledo Aquatic Club, Scotty Buff. Three, Mason Manneries, Carl Blaybaum. Four, Sandpipers of Nevada, Ilya Karun. Five, Treasure Coast Swim Team, Mitchell Ledford. Six, Bellevue Club, Brian Lee. Seven, Carmel Swim Club, Aaron Shackle. Eight, from the Mason Manneries is Gibson Holmes. Another Wave One standout here, Carl Blaybaum of the Mason Manneries. Having to contend with the Shore Course Yard National Age Group record holder in lane four, that's Ilya Kyron of the Sandpipers. Kyron taking over here on the back half of the race. And very strong to the finish out of lane four, Ilya Kyron with a 52.87, nearly a full second drop off his morning effort as the 17-year-old now jumps all the way up in the all-time rankings to the top 20. 52.87 will land him in a tie with T.J. Phillips for the 18th bestest. Lay ball at 53.43.
Top time in this heat turned in by Raya Mellon of the Crow Canyon Sharks, 32-67. The 14-year-old in lane number four. Looks like she's battling Bella Burrito, the other 14-year-old in lane two. But it'll be Grace Rainey with a 32-66, winning the heat and improving from her morning swim by a few hundreds. Bella Brito also a 32-66, so a nice little tie here in the women's 50 breaststroke bonus final. Bonus final. Shot 28s here from the middle lanes this morning with Watson Wynn of Metroplex, the 16-year-old in lane four, the top qualifier. Wynn challenged by Rankin in three. And the touch goes to Cohen Rankin. 28-31 in a tie with Watson Wynn. With third place going to Ty Spillane out of Mizzou in lane five, 28.57. Charlotte Wilson of the University of Denver Hilltoppers, 28.87, fastest in this field this morning from the 15-year-old. She looks to be in the mix for the lead, as does Camille Spink, Tegan O'Dell in six and seven at the wall. It's a 28.56. Charlotte Wilson will win it and drop just over three tenths of a second off of her prelim swim. On her way to doing it, 28-67 for Josephine Fuller of the University of Tennessee, finishing in second, getting under that 29 mark. And Justine Murdoch. Fifty meters of backstroke for our top 18 and unders with Joseph Hayburn of Annapolis Swim Club in lane four. And getting it done 
for the midshipmen. 25-63 for Hayburn. Second, Josh Sukowski, 26-10. And third goes to Scotty Buff. Pulling the double here this evening and a 26-10 in the 50-meter backstroke for Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for being a part of our competition here this evening at the 2022 Phillips 66 International Team Trial.